I think that maybe some of our listeners have taken this cult thing a little too seriously. What cult thing? Um, <laughs> well, we're supposed to <clears throat> chant, according to a listener, who has reached out and contacted us via email. <laughs> chant what? Sean, go home. <laughs> Sean, go home. Sean, go home. Sean, go home. Sean, go home. Guys, you've banished. He's gone home. I I think it worked. (laughs) I think he went home like a month ago. (laughs) Never came back. Look, it worked. That's all I'm saying. Um, I mean, he's home, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Pro- probably he's home. Is he's, he even in the state? Uh, last I knew, he was in Middleburg Heights. Wow, wow. it worked really well. Damn, he's I'm further- pretty sure his girlfriend still listens to the podcast. Well, um, she can tell him that it was our fault for chanting, mm-hmm. uh, and we can thank our loyal listener who will not be named. Who can't be named? Did you figure out who it was? I know. Who it well, is. yeah, it's not that hard. It was in the, <laughs> yeah. the from yeah. of the email. Email. That's uh, uh, we don't ever have to probably see the email again. What email? We don't do that. <laughs> oh. So, uh, good morning, and welcome to Breakfast at Stephenies. I am one of your many hosts, Mr. Vinny McAttack. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm, I'm Steve Vinny on the other side of the table. Looking directly into his eyes via bedroom eyes. Wow. <laughs> Sitting next to me. <laughs> this is Seth Green. Fat Seth Green. I'm Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey. 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 Oh, and uh, who's that down there? It's Mr. New DM for us. Probably. probably. Yeah, hello there. My name is Matt, and uh, <laughs> it is a pleasure to be here with you, gents. Nerf. Uh, I'm sorry? Nerf. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I do appreciate <laughs> you all having me in here, um, but it is, uh, it is strange. You did capture me uh, outside and bring me into the basement <laughs> uh, and said, DM us, please, and I said... I've never played before, but I will. And it was fun. It was a good time. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, so there's people listening to this, yeah? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, from what I've heard, there's people listening. I mean, not like right now. That's right. Could, but when they're hearing it, it would be right now. We could do a live episode. But it could be yesterday for people who aren't listening today. Right. So if you are listening to this, right, please rescue me from this basement. Right now. <laughs> no, please. Uh, no, this is my one moment to say, please rescue me. Uh, don't stuck. listen to him. Um, I'm stuck in this basement. We he don't chose have to be in this basement. Any sort of a cult sacrifice taking place, they, nothing of the sort. They were chanting before this recording and they said, We will kill you. <laughs> we will kill you. And they said it just like that. I never fill you up never with, heard anything. Fill you up with delicious breakfast food and then kill you and eat the food back out of you. Yes, <laughs> it was delicious. By the way, this is my real voice. Thank you so much for uh Listening to that. Uh, <laughs> Can you introduce yourself once again? We forgot yes, to clap. Yes, my name is Matt Dooley. Thank you. Hey, Thank Matt. You. Hey, Matt. Thank you so hey. much. Yeah, I get that all the time. He's I want to let you know that you're allowed to clap for yourself on this podcast. Oh, I did. You just couldn't hear it because I wasn't using my hands. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, okay. Were you clapping cheeks? <laughs> of the <a> sort. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, for breakfast this morning we uh, we had our first vegan breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was one hundred percent vegan, correct? Yeah, right? yeah. I hope so. Oh, I fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, really hope so. You saw everything that was. There. I, it was really good. I was scared. I was scared. I'll be totally honest. I don't think I've ever eaten like outside of like a salad. I don't think I've ever eaten like a full vegan meal. Yeah. Well, was there ranch on your salad? <laughs> yeah, that's not vegan. <laughs> No, I've had I've had non ranch dressings. Did you put cheese on them? I don't like cheese on my salads. Hmm. 
It always like clumps <laughs> Even up. Even the vegans making a face at you. What the fuck? It, like, it always clumps up at the bottom, and it's just like a big old clump of cheese and dressing. I it's live just, for that know, clump. That's the best part. <laughs> oh, Not give about me it. that. Oh fuck! Give I like me to be the clump. top. I like the toppings in my salads to be evenly spread throughout the mix. So oh, what you're yeah. saying is you're really good at tossing salads. I love I love a good tossed salad. When you well, talk about it, can you bring your voice down low? And just talk about tossing salad. Tell Toss. me about I'm, I'm just going to say, y'all, I wasn't salad. afraid. Tell me about Wait, your clumps. Hold on. Breakfast does not scare me. Toss the salad, Mr. Potter. Toss the <laughs> salad, Mr. Potter. All right. <laughs> Give yes. me the salad. So... As a as a vegan who made such a demand on us, uh, no do demand. you do you feel satisfied? That's a really strong word. Um, I would say <laughs> <laughs> I feel full. <laughs> no, I was absolutely satisfied. It was still delicious. even after what you just did down here. Uh, well, I'm not full now. I, said, I was full. Ah, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now your toilet is full. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, on a scale of zero to seven vegans, how would you rate that breakfast? I mean, it tasted like six vegans. No, it tastes it tastes like seven vegans. It's about as much as uh, as many vegans as I would eat. Wow, he gave That's us extra credit. Yeah, Hell perfect yeah. score would be four out of seven. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna four. have to say, yeah, it's gonna be above that because uh, most of it was uh, potato, yeah. right? Mm. Um, sure, which, like potatoes, which we all know. Uh, you broke the boundaries. You can boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, or fry them with uh, tofu and things, and that's really good. Yeah. So you guys were thinking outside. You could also put them in a house and light the house on fire. You can. That's which... what we call the roast and distract. Yeah. <laughs> you can roast and For more distract information <laughs> on the potato roast and distract strategy. Uh, make sure you contribute to us on Patreon for that exclusive episode. I don't. I don't think we're putting that on Patreon. Oh. Uh, well, you should because it's worth money. <laughs> maybe, maybe we will. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay. Maybe we'll make that a, a regular thing, and we'll release it again every month. <laughs> just <laughs> just one episode. the one episode. We'll just we'll just put, add different effects to it. This is a special, the special edition of the special edition. Yeah, uh. I uh, I I wrote and um, and constructed a campaign for these nerds. Uh, we hmm. played some D and D before this, and it was really good. I think they, if I am quoting this correctly, they said it was the best game of D and D they've ever played. So or witnessed, it could have been outside yeah. mm-hmm. of that, and I would have. Yeah, the Adventure Zone acquisitions. They didn't get shit on this. Oh yeah. no, yeah, of course yeah. I not. think we're gonna have to charge a premium for that yeah. content. Yeah. I'm thinking like Sorry. if you if you are willing to donate three hundred thousand dollars a month, you can hear the episode. It cost me at least that much to make it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a very high production If you value. listen to it for nothing, then you're stealing from me. Yeah, exactly. $300,000 a month. Hey, y'all, if you uh, want to drop me an email. No. We don't, no. Uh, we don't do email no. anymore. Remember Yang, that. Yang mail. We have one, Yang and if you know what it is, mail. go for it. Go but for if it. not, um, speaking of, we, we say that because I believe last week we kind of uh, went overboard and... Uh, Bob, I told you we got something this week for all of us. Yeah. It's 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 an email. That's what, what? it was? We got four emails. What? Bang. Bang, bang, bang. Four emails. One for each of us or one No, four directed? total. Just four They were total. all for Sean. Damn. So, <laughs> it was like Sean go <laughs> So the first... It was an email <laughs> chant of sorts. <laughs> Read the, them all at the same time. The first email we received is from Mr. Bill. <laughs> Bill says, Hi, I'd like to join your cult. The last two cults I ran didn't work out. Everyone hated how I made the Kool Aid so much. They killed themselves. Can you believe that? 92 people all together. And over some Kool Aid. Anyway, I know 17 chants, and they're all really easy to learn. We can hold meetings every day except Sunday, reserved for breakfast at Stephanie's. I'll bring some weed to smoke with DJ Never on the podcast. Sincerely, <laughs> someone who needs medical advice. P.S. No one fucking uses email anymore. I like this guy. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. I think Thanks. I think he should be part of the cult. I'm in. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. Um, the okay. second email re- we received was for Stephen's eyes only. So I still haven't read that. Steve. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. You don't want to talk about that one? Okay. Let's talk about that one. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, that's the wrong. Oh, this is for my eyes only. It just said Sean go home. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's just say that it worked. Okay, um, that's all I'm saying. Whatever it was. The third email we received, uh, the subject was the first rule about Fight Club, and the content was cult. See cult, cult, cult. That was from Bill. <laughs> The four, oh, I'm sorry. It was five emails that we received. The fourth email we received was from uh, Laura Evans. Okay. Hey, Laura. Um, Hi, she Laura. actually met quite a few um, of our demands. Um, she gave us a definition request for Discord. Uh, Discord, a disagreement between people. Uh, used in a sentence, a prosperous family who showed no signs of Discord. So now we know what Discord means. So it's not the app that my kid is trying to let me use. No, I always thought it was Discord. Uh, <laughs> no, it's Dad joke. Hey. Dacord. It's like this and like Dacord. Um, she gave us an information request. Um, green aura of color meaning. Um, so this is how you feel about all kitchens. You get the green aura. Yeah. Uh, it relates to heart and lungs. It is very comfortable, healthy color of nature. When seen in when seen in the aura, this usually represents growth and balance, and most of all, something that leads to change. Oh, shit. Change your clothes. I'm not sure how that involves a kitchen. My ass is sweating. <laughs> you gotta cha- see this change your kitchen. <laughs> change your clothes, because you've got a green aura. <laughs> uh, Laura also made uh, some comments. Uh, she can't believe she didn't know that I was raised uh, Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, I didn't know that either. What uh, the hell? They, they keep that quiet. I knew that. That's probably a good idea. Uh, <laughs> she also is voting for Steve. Uh, yeah, so, sorry, Steve, but Laura's voting for Steve. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Uh, breakfast suggestions? Vinny's goddamn biscuits and sausage gravy. Crepes? Sausage casserole with a link to a sausage casserole. Mm. It's probably good. Um, you can also try different breakfast specialities from all around the world. And breakfast pizza. Can we make like a sugar ray pancake? Yeah, what about the uh, the I Japanese the cereal? World. I don't know. Sure. Are we ordering uh, Japanese cereal? Then she also used, uh, she said, here is my submission for a super short story using the word intrinsic. I hope that nice. was the word, LMAO. I used a story starter, which are helpful to get the creative juices flowing, especially when you haven't written a short story since like 2008. The story starter. I didn't mean to kill her. Somebody else want to read this? You want to? You want to read? You want me to give a? Yeah, make it. Make it so. Make it so. Put some. Put some real stank on it. Yeah. Put some green aura on it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to kill her. Honestly, it, it just kind of escalated. It's not like I set out to it with the intention to end her life. But with her malicious personality and her cruel disposition, it's hard to believe no one ever thought about it. I can't blame her, though. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't I'm say sorry. I blame her, though. In a town like this, it's not unusual to be so self-absorbed that you can't see anything outside of your own narcissistic perspective. Before I moved here, I considered myself a decent person. I believed human life had intrinsic value. But after a day like today, it makes me wonder if deep down I've always been able or been capable of murder or if living here has just chipped away at me and just given into the nature of the city. I'd like to I'd like oh, fuck. I'd like to say it was the latter. But as her lifeless corpse lay sprawled out in front of me, there was no sense of panic or guilt, no terror coursing through my veins. Not even the knee-jerk reaction of the of horror to having ended a life. The only way I thought, the only thought that came to mind is, how do I get rid of the body? Now where's the salami? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, yeah, guys, I know everybody likes to talk about how they can be followed, but Laura, just don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, carry on. Uh, and so that was the end of Laura's email. I thought it was a great email. It covered a lot of bases. Um. Our fifth email I received two days ago um, from Bill again, uh, and the subject is Dick Picks Enclosed. Now, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to post this on Instagram for everybody because it's Dick Picks, but uh, sorry, guys, I have to show all of you. Ew. 
Nice hog. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh,